everybody, thanks for clicking on this video and today we'll be reviewing the Anchor Straw. Hi there, SG Alcohol Guy here making use of my Wines and Spirits certification which includes a course in beers to give you honest reviews on the alcohols that I am tasting. And as mentioned, we're going to be touching on the Anchor Strong. Now if you've watched some of my other videos uh, where I have done the regular Anchor Smooth, you'll know that I actually rate that quite highly. Um, it's a very low cost beer and despite being low alcohol as well, uh, you know, it's just packed full of flavour for that price point. So in terms of a low alcohol beer at a low price, the Anchor Smooth really blows away the competition. Let's see if the Anchor Strong does the same. So I got this at a steal. Two cans of this at 730 Singapore dollars. That makes it 365 Singapore dollars per can. And for that, you get a 490 ml can with 7% alcohol content. So almost double of the Anchor Smooth um, and in a much larger can as well. And Anchor Strong Beer is a smooth tasting strong beer uh, which is cold filtered to give you a smooth, easy to drink quality beer that is fuller and stronger in taste. I hope so because you know it says Anchor Strong. Well enough chit chat, let's see how it tastes. Now as usual, when I pour my beers, you know, I'm going to make sure that there's a foam um, forming up in the glass so that it doesn't form up later in my stomach. Uh, I won't pour out the full can, I just want to show you the colour and then, you know, try to help you understand what the scent is like. And I'll start with the scent or the aroma of the beer. It's already there. It's a very, it's a very strong lager. Without putting my nose anywhere near the glass, you know, it's already smelling like it has twice the strength of a regular lager. Color-wise, it's a very deep yellow, very beautiful golden yellow. Uh, and, and you know, it, again, it just gives the impression that it's a very strong, full-bodied beer. And I'm hoping that's the case. Let's find out with a taste test. And the taste of it is bitter. They're using hop extract and you know you can you can actually taste that hoppiness the bitterness all through the middle of the tongue and it's making you know the finish a little bit dry at the back so you can have that that bitter bitter beer taste that being said sweetness kicks in a little bit later at the sides now um, uh, on my tongue and it's just like spreading a little bit as an aftertaste of sweetness at the sides of my tongue but I can't really say it's a very cohesive beer. So I can taste the beer because of the hoppiness. I can taste the sweetness that's associated with lager but it's not a taste that gels together. In fact, it's not even a taste that's particularly or noticeable. I still prefer the Skoll Strong if I'm going to compare, you know, strong alcoholic beers. Uh, the Anchor, I can't even say it comes a close second. The Anchor Strong is something that you get because it's cheap and you want to have the alcohol kick fast. But if you're looking for flavour, if you're looking for, for enjoyment from a strong beer, you're not going to get it from the Anchor Strong. Hey, thanks for watching this review. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, now, whether you're new to the channel, whether you're a returning viewer, help me click on the like button. There's also the subscribe button, don't be shy to click on it, as well as the notification button to let you know when the new videos are coming out. More importantly, put on some comments. If you've tried the Anchor Strong Beer, you know, what are your thoughts on it and can you recommend me a better strong beer? In the meantime, happy drinking!